Welcome to the DSL Systems tutorial on filtering scale weights. Incidentally, the words filtering, averaging, smoothing and damping are in effect the same thing. What I've done is I've simulated a very bouncy scale on an autopilot for feed weighing system. In this case it's wear too, and it's like a consistently vibrating scale bouncing slowly up and down every one second. On this trend, moving graph, you'll see the values here. The raw signal is in black and the filtered signal is in red. To start off with there's no filtering and so the two signals are mirroring each other. In feed device configuration, you get to this from menu configure scale slash feed device. Under the miscellaneous tab there is a value for filtering. Pressing F1 tells you that the value goes from 0 to 99 where 0 is no filtering. A value of 10 here means that filtering works on the last 10 readings which is equivalent to about 1 second and a value of 20 means filtering over 2 seconds. If I change the filtering to 20 and save it you'll see that the red filtered value effectively smooths out the raw signal very effectively. If I change the filtered value to 3, which is filtering over about 0.3 of a second, you'll see that the red line now has very little effect and there are times when it almost looks worse than the raw signal. If I change the filtering to 10, which is one second approximately, you'll see that the red signal does improve on the raw signal a bit but it's not really very effective and this is because this scale is bouncing around quite slowly. So let's see it in operation. For this tutorial I've preset a, an in-flight compensation of 45 kilos and switched off the automatic adjustment of this. I've also switched off all jogs. So to start we'll remove all filtering and now we'll let where to start to feed. So on the trend the green line shows when the feeder starts and the second green line shows when the feeder stops. This purple line here is the set weight of 300 kgs and you'll see that the signal we've definitely cut off a little earlier we're a bit short maybe um, it may be 25 kilograms short or something like that. And because the scale is bouncing around the place, weighing accuracy will be very inconsistent. Now what I'll do is I'll manually reset everything here. I'll empty the scale. I'll delete the batch just so that we can start again and then I can show you it with filtering on. So this time now we'll put filtering on and we'll use our very effective value of 20 for this. And on the trend we'll see that it, it'll all settle out and this red line, the filtered value, will be very consistent. So now we'll set the feeder going again. So the first green line is when the feeder starts, the second green line is when the feeder stops. And you'll see this time we've overshot the target value by quite a lot. And this is because the red line is delaying, is delayed from the black line. 
because of the damping it slows everything up and therefore uh, the feeder doesn't cut off in time so what you'll have is an overweight if you have auto compensation selected in the system will automatically learn the new in-flight compensation value over the next five or six batches so for this tutorial I'm going to manually change the in-flight compensation to something uh, more appropriate in this case it's 125 kilograms yet again I will delete the batch empty the scale right so now I've increased the in-flight compensation I've put everything back to where it is where it should be. I've got filtering on and we'll let the way I go again. So the feeder starts and stops and so the actual weight, the red line, is very close to the target value. We may be a couple of kilograms out so weighing will be very accurate. Scales vibrating at a higher frequency can have a lower filtering value but even if you put a very large filtering value in automatic compensation will eventually adjust itself to a value resulting in accurate weighing. Thank you for your interest and I hope this tutorial has helped.